Did that conversation blow up in your face? You were <laughs> so prepared, you had all the right things in your head, you thought you said them right, but it still blew up? I am gonna teach you in this video the big mistake you're making that you don't realize and how to really, it's in a simple way, set it straight so that you can have those great conversations and come out feeling satisfied and maybe even joyful sometimes, even from the hard conversations. So, uh, so stay tuned because I've used this with thousands of people at this point and it works pretty much every time. So I know it'll work for you. So what happens often is that we get prepared to have a conversation with someone and uh, we think for a while about what we want to say. Sometimes if you're me, you even took notes. I would take notes and I want to make sure I hit these points so I can stay calm and I can, you know, really stay on track. And then you get into the conversation with your partner or your boss or your coworker or your mom or whoever it is, and you feel like you're saying all the right things, but it's blowing up. <laughs> it's not going the way that you think it should. And they're coming at you this way, they're dive bombing you that way, and you're thinking, what just happened? And next thing you know, you're up in it also and everybody's fighting and it's just a bad scene. And you walk away thinking, oh, I can never talk to this person. You know, no matter what I do, no matter how I try, nothing works. Well, here's the deal. Here's the mistake that you're making. I'm gonna tell you the quick way to fix it because we get right to it here. Uh, so, and oh, before I jump in there, I almost forgot, would you, I hope that you are liking the videos I put out, these connection quickies. And if you do, I really would love for you to please, please to subscribe to the channel uh, and hit the, hit the little button, the, the alert button so that you know, cause new videos come out every week and you know, you want to get in on that. Uh, so please do that right now. But let me keep going. So what's happening is you are intellectually getting prepared for a conversation and getting ready for it, but you are not emotionally prepared for said conversation. You might say something to yourself like, okay, you know, be calm, I'll be okay, I'm gonna go in there and do this, but that's not actually getting emotionally prepared. That is still intellectual. To get emotionally prepared, you have to feel the feeling you wanna feel when you go in the room or start the conversation before you go in. Yeah. And so, and that's the big mistake people make. They're going, you're thinking to yourself, oh God, we had a big fight last time about this. It's going to be bad. Or, um, oh, you know, I can never seem to talk to this person. It always ends up bad or it goes left or they don't listen to me. You're having all these beliefs, all these thoughts, which are creating all these feelings. Uh, we feel the way we think. So you are having feelings of doubt, maybe resentment, maybe anger, maybe helplessness, hopelessness, worry, anxiety, do you get it? So you're walking into the conversation and sure, you're saying all the right things, but <laughs> it's, like a, it's like a big flashing red light is actually happening, that, happening where you're letting the other person know that you're really worried about it. You don't think it's gonna go well. I know I'm saying all the right stuff, but it's gonna blow up. And then it does, and then we're shocked. So we, people pick up on this. What do I say all the time, right? Our conscious brains process information at a rate of 50 bits per second, while our unconscious brains process information at a rate of 11 million bits per second. So they are picking up what you're laying down, but it's not the words, it's the feeling. So what you need to do first is really think to yourself before you go in, and I'm telling you this takes seconds. You have seconds. I promise it's less than a minute. It, it, you have less than a minute, you've got it, okay? So, you know, get over yourself, I say with love, but you, you need to do this first. And what you wanna do is just take that minute, maybe close your eyes, you know, kind of shrug your shoulders, take a breath, <laughs> just, again, just seconds, but really think about uh, what you want to feel at the end of this conversation. Um, so, and that could be thoughts too that create those feelings. Remember, we feel the way we think. So. I want, I want to really have both of us feel uplifted at the end of this conversation. I want, um, let's say you're if I'm talking to my husband, I, I want him to feel uh, that I really understand him, that I'm patient, that I'm kind, that I have his best interest at heart. That is all the intention that I'm bringing in, that he is really going to pick up on how much I love him and how much I want this to go well. Maybe I'm talking to my boss and about something that's a little scary or a coworker. So and maybe I'm thinking, 
it's my intention when we leave that we both feel really understood, that we that my coworker knows that I have their back, that this is coming from a really good place, that my intentions are pure, that I am uh, really wanting us all to win. And you feel, when just saying that out loud, I can feel it, how nice that feels. It feels calming, it feels exciting. I feel enthusiastic, I feel energetic, I feel energized, uh, I feel, you know, uh, eager. If you're not feeling those things when you're walking into the conversation, if you're feeling dread, if you're feeling worry, if your stomach is upset, if you're shaking, guess what? I, again, how are you thinking it's gonna go really well? And I will say this, if you are feeling those things and you have to go have a conversation, then what I want you to do, and you just feel like you can't move it, then you need to start the conversation with that. And by the way, you'll feel better. So if you start the conversation and go, okay, I'm feeling a lot of dread right now. I'm, my stomach is upset. I, I haven't been able to eat all morning. Uh, I'm so worried and scared about this conversation. So I'm really doing my best and I'm gonna ask that you do your best with me. I'm really gonna ask that you meet me here and help me. You might even just say to them, can, at that point, do you feel like we can have this conversation right now about X? Because I really wanna have it, but like I said, I'm feeling kind of anxious. Can you be here with me? Can you not be in anxiety? Can you, can you hold the hope while I'm struggling? And as soon as someone says they can't, yeah, babe, I'm here. If it's your partner, maybe I'm here. Okay, thank you for telling me what's going on. You know, you start to feel relaxed. You start to feel better. Oh, they have my back. They see me, they hear me. If it's a boss or a coworker or somewhere else, believe what they say. If they say to you, yeah, sure, uh, that's fine, go. Just say what you're gonna say. <laughs> that is not someone who really wants to hear what you have to say. So again, you might just say, you know what? This doesn't feel good right now. I'm gonna come back to it. Or can we do something together right now so I can really feel that? You, it sounds anxious to me. I, I don't feel, I'm not feeling the love. Whatever that is, but there's a huge difference when you put that out there. And if, if this is resonating with you right now, I would love for you to just type yes uh, in the comments below. Just go, yes, this is it, Abby, I get it. Because what I wanna have happen is that you start to really shift every conversation you're in that you start to think before. Before you go into a meeting, before you anything, start to think the thought of how you wanna be, that intention you wanna set, what you wanna bring, and feel the feeling. So don't just think it and have it be out there, but feel the feeling of that already happening. That's already there. Wow, if I came out of this meeting feeling like I was really heard and listened to, oh my gosh, I'm gonna feel like a million friggin' bucks. I'm gonna feel so excited. I'm gonna feel so energized. Guess what? Bring that in. Uh, if, my, if I'm able to have this conversation that's been so hard before with my partner, and we're able to have it in a way where nobody's voices are raised, where, I, where we're really connecting. Oh, it's gonna just feel like incredible. It's gonna feel like such a breakthrough. Feel that now. Bring that in, that's what you wanna be doing. So, I'm Dr. Abby Metcalf. If you haven't already uh, know about me and what I do, I would love for you again to subscribe to the channel. And I really wanna hear what your biggest struggle is. Whatever that is, I would love for you to comment below. I read all the comments. I know it's a lot of them, I get to them. And I wanna know what you're struggling with because it can be on a future video. Absolutely, all of these that things I teach come from people telling me, Abby, how do I deal with this? And that's how I do it. So that's it for today. Thanks so much. And if you want more information, come on over to my website, abbymedcalf.com, and you can get your free communication toolkit for couples. It's awesome, and you can get it for free right on the, on the homepage.